The following is being presented by EA Game Changers. Hi guys, Samantha here. Welcome back to my channel and another look at the newest Sims 4 game pack, Strangerville, that is going to be coming out super soon. And so I want to remind you guys that I did get early access of the, for this pack, compliments of EA and the EA Game Changers program. So thank you so much, EA, for allowing me early access so I can show you guys the good. So this is going to be part two. I already did a part one that showed off the creative sim items. So this scene, this part will be just the build by mode items. So if you guys haven't seen the cast items pause stop rewind and go check them out um i i'm still on the fence about them but you guys can go check it out on the video and let me know what you think but anyway so i'm already in the select a world category here and we see strangerville is right here and it's like the little like the little icon for it looks like it animates by bringing this little weird car is that like a a, a news station van or what is the situation anyway got my little family down here it's a brother sister pair the bryans and they have like a little dog it's a dalmatian i don't know i just feel like they're running in there but anyway oh wow so off top here is the world it is absolutely stunning. Strangerville Plaza. Strangerville Plaza is where the locals like to hang out. You can find scientists at the library, military personnel at the bar, and the curio shop near the trailer park. Okay, you can buy some strange odds and ends here and you will find information, all the information you need. Okay, so we have, this is the little plaza. Uh, then we have a bar already in here. Uh, which I can't tell what the name of it is. Then we have a library. We have a lot. We have an empty lot here, which is a... Oh, I have no idea. Car puff. Well, I don't know how to pronounce that. Anyway, then we got this slip 42. All right. Then we have like a, a wreckage, like a plane wreckage. Okay. And then up here in the, what would this be called? The plateaus, I guess, like the flat mountainous areas. We have some more upscale houses. This is called Shady Acres. Pristine, secluded, and nestled high atop a plateau. I just said that. <laughs> Shady Acres is home to the more wealthy locals of Strangerville. Curious how some of them came into their wealth? Interesting. Okay, and then we have, so five lots total up here. And then a handful of lots down here. I think they said it was total 11 lots that we got. So at least two residences right here. Three, I guess, if you include this one. Um, and then we have this here that could be a residence, but why would you take that off? Apparently we need that for something. And then you have the ones up here, which are a little bit more costly. I can't wait to see what the view looks like up here. Then you got like this little area over here, which is like the lab, I guess, which is in the middle of a crater. Alrighty. So did a meteor hit this town and they decided to build a lab here to investigate what happened with this meteor? Okay, and then there's like this little area right here. Okay. All right. So I guess just for the sake of checking out the build by mode items, we'll just go ahead and select this lot. Uh, wow. It's a lot of money, but <laughs> we'll go check it out. Uh, I actually get it furnished just for the sake of uh, this video, but this is interesting. Okay. So anyway, let's go on and get settled in. All right, guys. So immediately in the game, it says, welcome to Strangerville. The only thing stranger than people is the flora. Okay, soon after moving in, the town slogan is starting to make sense to you. Some of the locals are acting a bit suspicious, and there's a large number of military and scientists in town. Try asking people about Strangerville. They might be able to shed some light on this strange situation. All right, well, we are just going to pause it for a second. Take a look at the world. Y'all, already though, I am in love already. Let's take a look though. Wow. So, okay, this is the world so far. This is absolutely stunning. That is one thing that I feel like we don't ever miss when it comes to new stuff is the worlds are like absolutely stunning. So here is the plane wreckage over here. It's kind of interesting. I wonder if we'll be able to actually explore this. Okay. All right. I'm so, I, I'm so weirded out right now. I don't even know what the... <laughs> Anyway, we got some uh, some cacti, I guess you could say. A lot of like, ad oh, there go the bridge we were just talking about. We got some oiling, like oil. Oh, th there's some dilapidated old cars right here. Interesting. Okay. And then going across this bridge, I really want to go see. Oh, there's that weird plant. 
What is this weird plant? I know, y'all, this has nothing to do with build by mode items, but then it kind of does. Um, I want to explore, like I'm ready to go explore. But over here, I see like there's some um, oil refining type digger thingies. Uh, there's that area right here, but I don't know what that is over there. Like, can we go over there? It's got, Look at all these plants surrounding it. What do these weird plants do? These actually move. Let's see. Are they moving? Oh, no, they don't. They don't move. I, w I was hoping that they moved. All right, let's pause. <laughs> I was hoping that they moved. Okay, they don't move. All right, so then you got this little thingy over here. Um, where's the crater? The oh, the crater's over there. Interesting. Can I get... Oh, 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 what's this right here? Is this a gas station? They like giving us gas stations that we can't do nothing with. That's not... A, that's like a convenience store. This is a gas station. No, they like giving us gas stations that we can't do anything with. Um, anyway, the crater, I think, is over there. I really want to go see it. But I don't think it's going to let me go. Let's see if it'll let me go that far. Okay, I made my way over here, y'all. There's nothing in this crater. So where is the laboratory that they speak of? Where is the laboratory that they speak of? This is like an airport? It kind of looks like an airport. Okay. Interesting. I want to know where the laboratory is. I thought it was going to be in that crater, but it wasn't over there. But y'all, the world is absolutely stunning. I will give them that. Um, I, I'm already kind of just like intrigued. I'm already kind of like just like, like just sucked in, like trying to figure out what in the world is going on over here. Um, and there's like a lot. I just, I really, oh, there's like a little trailer park over here. We're doing like a whole world overview right now. I know we're supposed to be looking at <laughs> the build by mode items. Check out this trailer though. Like seriously? Interesting. Huh. But we still don't have an ability to have cars in the game yet. But yet we have trailers. Interesting. Okay. All right, y'all. I have no clue what to think. Uh, okay, so we have some military cars over here lined up on the main road. Y'all, that is kind of creepy because these aren't just like any military vehicles. These are like the heavy duty like off into war type vehicles. They're like all over the place. Okay. There's a water tower right here. Interesting. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Let's 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 focus on build by mode items. Um, I don't even know if for sure this house looks a lot like the one that's in Willow Creek. As a matter of fact, it's the exact. Yeah, because the bedrooms here. Bathrooms here, living rooms here. Yeah, and this, yeah, it looks exactly like it. Anyway, let's go check out the build by mode items before I um, <laughs> get completely. I'm trying not to spend too much time looking at the actual world, but I am just in awe right now. But anyway, let's go go to show all. I'm going to actually just go on and toggle through the game pack. Uh, I was about to say get stranger. Oh, I was about to say get stranger. Anyway, so we got all of these items right here, quite a bit. So let's go on and toggle through some of them. We got the bunk. Perfect for all types of indoor use, even though it has a sturdy and rigid structure, blah, blah, blah. So it looks like it has like a little um, foot locker at the bottom. It comes in these different swatches. Some of them have emblems on them, but some of them don't. Guess what this will be like with the military sleep in? Uh, there's some shoes and stuff at the foot of it. That's interesting. Oh, of course, when I do that, it switches it. Okay, so I guess this would be like in the military base type thing. And then we have the tech way huh the technic chair okay it's very sci-fi looking kind of odd comes in a couple different swatches and then we have the experimental aluminum slate which is just like a table with some stuff on it okay huh all right then we got the careful tinkery table okay these don't come with different swatches but i'm assuming that you can actually interact with these maybe they are something uh complete that with accessories live and relive the illusion of scientific work with this piece just beware of what can awaken okay then we have this one interesting all right uh this one comes in different swatches y'all i am like so confused right now <laughs> oh my god i don't know what to think right now and then we have the heavy metal heavy duty shelf which has some supplies and stuff on it is it like post-apocalyptic like yeah there's like a gas mask on here there's like some food supplies there's like gas uh tanks or gas what you call it containers interesting and there's some flashlights of some sort 
It's like a doomsday bunker type kit. Anyway, then we got glass top stage stairs. Okay, for all your futuristic sciencey staging needs. Okay. Uh okay. Alright. Um then we got the plant containment cell. This plant containment cell can contain the pe the peskiest of flora. It is also nice to display other things as well, I guess. Interesting. One of it's kind of got like a dirty look to it, and the rest of it is just like, what? What is this? Okay, then we got the epic DIY shower. Okay, the shower project is not, okay, so is it a, okay, so it's a DIY shower. Okay, all right, comes in these different colors. Y'all, I am so, it has like a hot water heater tank type thing attached to it. Okay, all right. Then we have the listening device. It will allow your sim to plant bugs on other sims and listen in on them. What? Seriously? We could listen in on sims? What? Okay. Then we got the listening device with a chair. Basically the same thing, just have you add a chair to it. All right, uh, then we have the training bot, the B64. This is the one we saw on the actual trailer that she kind of like was kicking in and doing all sorts of little crazy acrobatic type stuff to it. Very interesting, okay. Uh, then we have the Larry's knickknack bar, okay. Well, that's interesting. It has like a whole bunch of uh, <laughs> signs and stickers and stuff on it. It looks like when people came in, they just like, hey, slap a sticker on there before you leave, okay. Uh, comes in different swatches. It definitely has like a, a wear it look to it. Um, that's interesting that it has its pennants on it though because it kind of reminds me of university. Is that like an Easter egg for university stuff? Okay. And then we have this right here, which is uh, the knickknack bric-a-brac shack. Okay. What's the point of going on vacation if you don't bring back a plethora of precious plastic memories? Alrighty. Um, it just comes in the one color, but I'm assuming... Once you get, it'll, okay, oh, on this side, it looks like the, the, um, the, y'all, I am so confused right now, I'm like speechless. On this side, it looks like the puppet, uh, puppet thingy, puppet theater from the kids stuff pack. Uh, interesting, all right. Okay, um, and then we have the Clawfoot Fanciful Planter, all right, it has some stuff in here. Comes a couple different colors, and a rusted old looking one. Interesting. Alrighty, and then now we got the strange wall vines. These strange wall vines do not look safe. Why are they moving? Wait, what? Are they gonna move? Wait, hold on y'all. Are these gonna move? You know I'm gonna put them up there so we can see if they move later on. I didn't even see if there was different colors. Let's see real quick. Nope, it's just those. Okay. Why are they moving? Okay, I'm like so creeped out right now. All right, then we got a grunge splatical number one. Grunge is in. The designers at Nakar Marmalade wanted to focus on the raw look. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, alrighty. Uh, then we have this one, the splatical two. It's a grunge look. It looks like mold or like somebody just didn't clean the side of their house. Interesting. Okay. Uh, then we have the Strangerville National Base posters here. Let's take a look at those. Uh, has a couple little designs and whatnot on there. What does those mean? Oh, okay. And then put your hazmat suit on, which we didn't see that in cast. So I don't know where that said. Uh, then we have this one here. Okay. Well, that explains the Air Force type thingies that I saw in cast or the aviation type things we saw in Kaz. Uh, so military, okay, no, UFO. Okay, this is where I was talking about on the, so on Kaz video, I was saying that if this is supposed to be centered around aliens, which we don't know, do you need get to work for it? And I asked that question and nobody really answered it. Um, but you know, it felt like if it was gonna be about aliens that you would at least need to have aliens in your game. And that's not a base game thing. That is a get to work thing. So interesting all right um quite a bit of options even ones that i felt like wouldn't even be related so you can pretty much use these for anything so that's actually pretty cool all right and then we have this one here the storyteller paintings a painting can tell a story or we can use a painting to tell a story all right so we got this one here it's not like route 66 but it's route 68 
Okay, you're showing us cars and gas stations, but yet we don't have cars and planes. We don't have planes either. A diner, like a, a okay, interesting. All right, um, all right, more paintings. Uh, okay, Wild West again with the horses, but we don't have horses in the game. I would have loved for us to have gotten horses, y'all. I love horses. Um, okay, interesting. All righty. Um, then we got the redacted tendril. Take it from redacted. This redacted is redacted, filled with redacted, and will help decipher redacted with redacted. Oh, okay. <laughs> what in the world is this creepy thing? Is it a tentacle? Is it a... It's redacted. We don't even know what it is. Okay. Then we got a plain wing, which we just saw these over there. So this is just the wing from it. I can't even place it even if I wanted to. Looks like it just comes with the one. And then we have this one here, which is another side. Then we have this one here. Okay. And then we have this one here, the cockpit. All right. Then we have this whole thing here. Interesting. All right. Then we got this thing called the unorganized documents. It only comes in the one swatch. All right. And then we have the important paper clutter. It just looks like a bunch of mail and stuff okay uh yeah i am so <laughs> i feel like i'm gonna keep saying this because i don't even know what to say at this point all right and then you got your not your grandmother's old photos it's like a box of some old pictures and stuff uh then we have this containment barrel which i'm assuming if you get close enough to it you'll turn into a mutant of some sort or maybe you'll grow like a third eye a third arm extra toes I'm not sure anyway <laughs> then we got beakers and burners a small cluster of beakers and burners is sure to fill out any small lab all right so we got these here okay that's cool just comes in the one color it looks like it could just sit on a table then we have a containment barrel stack all righty interesting um then we have uh some oh is this for the floor or is this for hold on y'all let's see is this a rug splat rug okay so it goes on the floor all right so we got this right here which i don't know if we'd be able to see it just oh gosh you put those barrels on top of this and it'll look like oh my gosh that is crazy it looks like ew <laughs> it works though it it actually works oh what well, wrong thing it actually works though y'all that is crazy okay uh then we have the half rug which i guess we could put that up against a wall maybe can I do that? Let's see. Yeah, put that up against the wall right here. Looks like it's seeping from the other side. Weird. So weird. And then we have the quarter. Okay. Alrighty. Interesting. Okay. I didn't even see these came in different swatches. Let's check them out real quick. They do come in a different couple colors. What are they? Uh, so they come in like a brown, a green, and then a darker green. All right. Then we got the redacted rug. Okay. Alrighty. All right. It actually looks like the same thing as this, except these are all spread out. So maybe they start off like this. And then once they start going through all the papers, it ends like that. Maybe. Huh. Interesting. Okay. For storytelling purposes, my brain is just like all over the place right now. Cause I'm just like thinking of all sorts of ideas, like for real. Anyway. So then we have this right here, which is the stranger floor vines and these are supposed to move too so let's just leave those on the floor so we can go check those out later and then we got the pattern rugs all right so we got this one this one okay these are really nice Ooh, okay i like the rugs quite a bit of colors and then we have the oversized uniform accoutrement i guess that's how you say that i think that's how you say that anyway uh so we got this here a couple little emblems and stuff here for the different branches of the military maybe or just different little stuff in general uh then we have the purifier 5000 prototype purification at this boom a fresh smelling room without the hassle of gurgle gurgle shoop, shoop, gurgle blurp okay interesting but the world wasn't ready purification huh okay huh i'm trying to get like a vibe of what this stuff is before we actually play the game. And y'all, this is like weirding. What in the world is this? It's like weirding me out. So the inconspicuous wall, but it's huge. It's not very inconspicuous. Okay. How's it supposed to go? 
For fortresses, uh, secret laboratories, and villain hideouts. Some may worry about the size of it, but trust us, it's so giant it will go unnoticed. Um, no, it's it's not going to go unnoticed. That's the thing. It's super noticeable. Interesting. All right, then we got the non-functional air conditioner for display purposes only. But hey, I like the fact that we can have... <laughs> An AC unit on the outside of our... Okay, come on, y'all. That is actually really cool. I really do like this. <laughs> that is actually really cool. All right, does it come in any different colors? Let's see real quick. Uh, see if it comes in any different colors. All right, a couple different ones. And it look a nice little rusted used one. It looks like you could lock it anywhere, but it looks especially good in the window. So uh, then we got the oversized metal wall bracket, self-illuminating. All right, oversized... Well, okay, a bracket comes in different colors. All right, I'm assuming that'd be for like a secret laboratory of some sort. Uh, then we got this top secret monitor display. All right, uh, okay. What? What is that? Oh, it's broken. Who broke it? What in the world? Okay, then we got the vertical spray nozzles. They may work or, or not. But they don't they look like they belong here. All right. Uh, okay, so some spray nozzles. So like a decontamination type spray nozzle? Like if you go in, it'll decontaminate you? That's interesting. Okay. All right. Um, then we got the scrolling decal clock. Relax as the soothing vista scroll by, escape to the reality. I wonder if it actually moves, though. That'd be cool if it actually moved. All right, some different stuff. Let's leave it out and see if it actually moves. I'm curious. Uh, all right, so then we have uh, the indestructible industrial sign. All right, got a couple different little ones here. Is that a record shop? So wait, we got like this here, this, all right, a bar sign, um, like an airport. Like get your drinks before you get on the plane. Um, a repair shop, a record shop, a library. I don't know, grocery store car shop and a VHS rental place 510 huh interesting okay 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 y'all I am so confused right now all right uh then we got this wacky a wonderful car carnival sock alien all right so is this supposed to be a toy what is this ew what is that y'all this is getting creepier and creepier is this a toy it just says environment. It's not even a toy. Alrighty. Uh, then we got the Krabby Bottom Armadillo Yellow. Uh, is uh, What is it? Staring through this armadillo's confused little eyes. He never disapproves of you and is always there to make you laugh. Okay. Alright, so just like a little table decor. All right, that's not that bad. All right, then we have a bar back with Shelly's photo. Oh, whoa. Okay. Who is Shelly? Wait, a bar back with Shelly's photo. It was the summer of that year. We spent our days in the desert sun, combing the sands, seeking to uncover the truth. A novel Shelly had lost the previous year. We found the truth and she disappeared on a Tuesday. It was noon. I was relieving, relieving, relieving myself in a bush. I returned to our favorite sand dune. She was gone. The desert sand was scuffled. Was it a wind or a struggle? I don't know. But I have my photo, my photo of Shelly. Is that, is that this person right here? Is this Shelly? Y'all, I am so creeped out right now. I am so creeped out right now. Uh, and you know what? I'm just going to go ahead and put this out here. I see all these little extra little innuendos y'all dropping in here, Sims. I'm not stupid. I see this little beach thing right here. I'm not stupid. I see these little pennants that remind me of university. I'm, I'm not stupid. I see the horses in the cars. I'm not stupid. Or maybe I'm wishful thinking. I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> let's check out the different swatches for this. Comes different couple colors. They all have like this worn old look to them. Interesting. Okay. And I'm getting this Independence Day vibe. You guys remember that movie? Like with Will Smith, the first one? I'm getting this vibe. Okay. Is this lava lamps? Okay. The purple lava beacon. Okay, does it come? Okay, so purple, and then we got a green one. Do they have different now in green, super green? Did we deceptively friendly? Did we say deceptively friendly glow? We mean cool space alien glow. All right, and then we got the pink lava beacon. 
So why did they just put all these in the same swatch and then we could have just toggled through the different ones? Do they have different meanings behind them? Huh. All right, then we got the unidentified lamp. Unidentified, like UFO. Like unidentified, fly, unidentified flying object. Is it a ship? Is it a dish? Or is it a space dish? A spaceship? Oh. This totally looks like a spaceship. It doesn't look like a dish. It looks like a spaceship. So this is going to be alien involved. This is going to be involved with the aliens. What? Look at the colors. It's going to be involved with the aliens, y'all. You can't tell me it's not going to be... I can't see it good. I can't see it. I can't. I want to see the base of it. You can't tell me it's not going to be involved with the aliens. Okay, there we go. We'll just do it like this. Interesting. Huh. Alrighty. Uh, then we got not a scrap. Repurposing at its finest. Authentic truck parts. Polished for a fresh look for your walls. No junk here. Huh. Why do I feel like you could use this in front of like a, a rectangular building? This will look like the front of a car. Doesn't that look like that look like the front of the car? I feel like it would. Huh. Okay. Uh, then we got the laboratory light strip, which is just a regular old light strip I feel like we've seen these before i didn't see if we had any different colors okay we do have a couple different swatches with this one i wonder if this serves as a light it looked like it has a light on it too um all right then we got the industrial diy lighting because we apparently we got a lot of diy type stuff in this in this game pack okay and then we finally got laptops guys look they have one out already so we finally got some laptops uh let's just put one i guess i'll just put it uh, right here is fine. All right, so it comes in these different colors. Now, the question will be is can they actually drag this into their inventory? That'd be really cool. So it says, tired of staying at home on a beautiful day, but you need to get that report done. Fret not, the portable computer has you covered. The high-tech piece of equipment is the perfect companion for any hardworking individual. So I'm assuming you could take it with you. I'm assuming so. And then you got the quarter, comp customized portable computer, which is a little bit more high tech looking. It's a little bit more expensive too, right? Oh, it's a lot of more expensive. Okay. And then we have the Soundtastic Fantastic Royale. Oh, it's like an old school jukebox where you can, like, you can like press the buttons. I used to like to play with these. Well, that's cool. Very nice. I want to see, can you actually, so fun. Welcome to the Soundtastic Fantastic Royale. Preparing the journey for life. I wonder if they can actually interact with it though. Let's leave it out because I want to see if they can interact with it. Like if they actually could touch it and select stuff. All right. Then we have the pillar of opulence. Okay. What secrets are contained within this obelisk? What? I have no clue what that is. Okay. Uh, what else does it say? Uh, the strange language are these hi hieroglyphs upon its surface. Bob from accounting says it's a broken server stack. He found a whole bunch of them in the basement. I don't agree. I think it's alien tech. I hear it humming in my sleep. I think it wants me to serve it goulash. I'm not sure how to, I know how to make goulash. Okay. Y'all, what in the world? It does look like a whole bunch of servers, though. Like, real talk, it does. It has, like, a server feel. But what in the world? What is going on? <laughs> I am so confused. Okay, purifier. Why y'all keep wanting to give us air purifiers? Okay, so this one says 5 million prototype. What were they thinking? The 5,000 prototype was too much for the world. The 5 mil, well, it incinerated the first 70 people that tried to get, purif to get purify their rooms that try to get purify their rooms. I'm confused. Okay. Uh, all right. Um, interesting. All right. Uh, then we have the blink o -matic with three sides of blinking lights. No blinking light to play. This plays blinks more than the blink o -matic. Wow. Say that five times fast. Y'all, what is this? But what is it? Okay. All right. Um, then we got the regal bookcase. Uh, okay, so this is a regular bookcase here. Yo, I am so confused. Then we got the mo modified B64 training bot, which is locked because you have to reach level eight of the military career. And then we have the no sign sign, which basically is a broken sign. Okay. All right. And then we have the ranking rug, which I also can't get till I reach to a certain military level. And then we got the metal display case, which we can't get either. Alrighty, so off top, I am so very strangely weirded out by some of these items. And it's still never, it's not really telling me still what this pack has in store for us. Let's go check out the, um, the build mode items since we just did the buy mode. So we didn't get any new roofs, um, any new wall type 
fixtures for the top. Okay, we did. Okay, we got uh, the not so dormant dormer, which is like a, oh, ooh, I like, I don't have move objects on, I don't think, but okay, that's a nice little fixture thingy to put on top of your roof, kind of give yourself a different look. I like it. Okay, very nice. Does it come in different colors? It does come in different colors. Perfect. Then we got the custom style tileables. Okay. I guess if you wanted to make like a balcony of some sort, but this goes on the roof. Huh. Where is it supposed to go? I guess we could play around with this to kind of see what you do with that. That's interesting. All right. And then we got the semi custom style spire or spear. Okay. Interesting. All right. Then we have the not a satellite dish. But that totally is a satellite dish because I have one on top of my roof right now. <laughs> and then we have another chimney, the old time chimney. Comes in those colors. And then we have the, the, the not quiet, wait, not quite the parapet. Okay. Uh, all right. What is it though, y'all? I'm confused. I'm so confused right now. Okay. Um, is it a, it's supposed to be a roof fixture, but I'm not sure exactly because it can sit on the ground too. So I'm not sure exactly what it can do. All right. Y'all, this house looks exactly like the one in Willow Creek. I swear. I was just playing in this house like a couple of days ago, like literally. Um, anyway. Okay, I'm so confused right now. Anyway, so that is the roof fixture thingies. Did we get any new? Nope, nothing. Okay, did we get any new this? Nope, nothing there. All right, did we get any new windows? We did get a couple new windows. Let's go check those out real quick. Seems like there's some already on here. So we got these, which are those that are on here right now. Then we got these double ones, which is that one. Then we have some arched ones. So we got this one here, which uh, I guess we'll put it. So want to see what it looks like real quick. Can I see what it looks like real quick? All right. Um, let's get rid of this and then we'll get that. All right. So that's that one right here. Very nice. Very pretty. Comes in a lot of colors. Beautiful. And then we have this one here, which is like a little smaller, pointier one. And then we have this one here, which is another little tiny, like a little shorter one. Pretty much the same thing. Did we get any taller ones? We did. So we got this one here. Ooh, hold on. I got to go down some. Messing myself up here. All right. So there we go with this one nice i like that one a lot okay and then we got this one equally like that one and then we have these which are not any taller okay so interesting oh i could have just did show all just realized that anyway for the doors we got this door that's up right now looks like is that this door no this is this door right here it's a little short small door all right and then we have this one here which is like a laboratory door or maybe it could be for like that trailer you're making like a trailer i guess uh, then we have this one right here. Another not so inconspicuous door. Okay. Which looks super conspicuous though. It doesn't look inconspicuous. It looks cons it looks conspicuous. <laughs> if there's such a thing. Uh, and then we got this door here, which is that one right there. Then we got one that's... Ooh. Well, that one is absolutely stunning. Okay, so it has a, a mail flap. Like, will they be able to deliver the mail in this little mail flap? No, they have a mailbox. Right. Okay, I must say they have a mailbox right there. I was like, man, if they could have delivered it inside the house, that would have been cool. Uh, then we got this one here, and then this one. Y'all, so far I'm liking the build. The oh, I love this archway. Oh, that is absolutely beautiful. Okay, cool, cool for the archway. Uh, anything else? Nope, that's it. Okay. Um, then for the wall, let's check and see. We got we got some new corrugated metal. Uh, that comes in a couple different little colors here. And then we have the metal enclosure. Let's see what that looks like real quick. Okay, and then the metal. Wow. Interesting. Okay. Huh. Alrighty. Y'all, these are these are quite interesting so far. Alright, so we decked out that. Uh, any one of, I don't even know what these are, but wall sculptures. Okay, let's go check out the flooring. See if there's any new flooring. So we did get some new tile the dirtiest pattern okay looks like that it is pretty dirty looking just comes in the white color and then we have the decoder tile okay which comes in a couple colors all righty interesting all right 
Alrighty. Okay. 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 So we did the flooring. We did the wall. Um, we did the doors. Okay. And then let's do any foundations. Nope. Any fences. Yes. Plenty of fences. Let's go check those out real quick. So I'm just going to do them like this. We have the illusion of fence, which is just like a flat surface on the floor. It looks like. All right. And then we have uh, the twisting peaks. Oh, that's pretty. Alrighty, and then we have the classic picket fence, which is oh beautiful. I love that one. Well, you know what? Now I think about it, we don't really have like a lot of picket fences like that. And then we got the almost gapeless, which is the one that's on there right now. All right, and do they all come in different? Yeah, they all come in different colors. Oh, this yellow and green one though, that is absolutely beautiful. Love it. Oh y'all, the, the double color ones are really pretty. Okay, I like that. All right, cool. All right, and then I think these all come. Okay, so they all come in different colors. Oh, wow. Y'all, that is beautiful. Oh, they're very, okay, y'all, from the side though, they're like paper thin. That's weird. So like the little, I don't know, hopefully you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. These little uh, spindles in between, they're like paper sharp thin. Look how sharp they are. There's like no 3D-ness. 3D-ness to it, it's like super paper thin. Eesh, I don't know if I like that. I like my 3D objects, that's so not 3D. Like in real life, I don't know if it'll be that flat. But they did everything else in 3D. Are all of them like that? No, that has like a 3D look to it. All right, what about these? That has a 3D look to it, okay. Interesting, so just that one, all right. Not complaining, just that caught me completely off guard. All right, and then for this one, they've got some old school stair rails, which I think are these right here probably, right? Yeah, probably those right there. And then for stairs, we didn't get any new stairs. Did we get, oh, you know what? Let's see about the walls. Did we get any half wall um, things? I guess not, okay. Sometimes they'll give us like little covers, you know, the little toppers for the half walls. I think they'd be considered under, I think, I think they'd be considered, yeah, here. Okay, so nothing of the sort for that. Uh, and I think that's all for, let's see, did we get any? Okay, we did get some of these, a Copus Rounder. Which I, oh, that's that right there, probably. And then this one, which is, I think, the same. Oh, no, this is just a regular straight edge one, maybe? I can't tell the difference. Okay, but yeah, anyway, basically we got those. I, I'm so... Y'all, I'm so confused right now. I apologize. I'm sitting there like, what is this stuff? Okay, so then we got um, some more uh, corner, like pillars, uh, different colors. And then we have the porch one here. And then we got just this regular one here. Those are really nice. Uh, and then what else? I think that's it, y'all, for that type stuff. I think we got everything. I'm just going to go through real quick and double check. Some good stuff, though. Definitely some good stuff. All right, so let's go take a look at the plants and stuff that we got. So we didn't get any new plants. I would have swore and down we would have got some of these little cactus thingies. Or do we already have these in the game? What about these rocks? Do we already have those in the game? Okay. Um, all right. Did we get any pools type stuff? No, nope. no pool type stuff. Um, all right. Well, that's interesting. All right. Well, real quick, let's go look at the um, the rooms they got for us real quick. So we have the hunker down bunker. All right. Which, oh, golly. It looks like it's part of like a basement bunker type thing. Like people that just want to stay far away from the world. Right. That's what it looks like to me. Then we have the ominous observatory. Okay. Which has these little weird plants on the floor and this little plant thingy here. Alrighty, ominous observatory. All right, and then we have the Garden of Metamorphosis. Okay, which is like a little outdoor space with these same little trees and weird barrels. Weird. All right, and then we have the Larry's old quartering hole, watering hole. Alrighty. Interesting. Okay, well, I don't even know what to say right now. I'm a little bit like, huh? <laughs> I really don't know what to say at this point, y'all. Very interesting stuff. Uh, I I guess as we play and figure out exactly what this world is about, we'll like know 
like what all this stuff is. Okay, so this one you could just, oh, you could just listen to certain things. I was hoping they could actually like interact and like actually make stuff. Okay, she is super tense. What are they talking about? Paranoid Sims don't like being around others that are whispering. What are they talking about? Are they talking about me? Girl, I don't know what you're talking about. Okay. Let's see if these, do these move? Are they moving? I mean, the wind is blowing them, but I don't see them. Yeah, they're moving, but the wind is blowing them. I'm like waiting to see if something's going to happen crazy, y'all. Oh, are you going to mess with that? I don't think that's a good idea. What if it like grabs your hand? I mean, your paw. Okay. Okay. Interesting. All right. Does this do anything? It does not. All right. Wait. It does. Oh, y'all, it actually moves. Wow. That's actually really cool. We haven't had anything in the game that does anything like this. I mean, besides like a TV. So that's pretty cool. So it actually does move. Okay. I mean, besides the wind blowing these, I really don't see anything. Okay. All right. Well, interesting. Okay. Well, where did the dog go? <laughs> okay. All right. I'm like, stay, stay near me, uh, champ. All right, so then we got this little plant over here. We could take a picture of it. Let's go view the bizarre plant. Stop, stop doing that real quick. Just go view it real quick and see what it is. What is the bizarre plant? What outfit is this she has on? I didn't even oh. give her this outfit. What's that bizarre plant? Can you take a picture? What does taking the picture do? This bizarre plant has an odd glow about it as if it's being controlled for some other entity. Wait, it looks as though there's something growing inside of it. Huh? What? A photo of Bizarre Plant has been added to your Sims inventory. Collect 15 pieces of Strangerville evidence to compile a secret dossier. Evidence can be found by questioning the locals or poking around the secret lab. The secret lab. Whoa! 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 What in the world is this? Wait, y'all. What is this? What's wrong with her? So they're just going to be walking around like this? Wow. I don't even know what to say. Okay. I have no clue what to think. All right. So then over here we have like a little... Y'all, what in the world? I just saw like a group. Where are y'all going? What are y'all doing? Wait, y'all just disappearing? Where, where? I'm so freaked out right now, y'all. If this isn't creepy, where are these cars coming from though? Like why we can't find these like in the debug menu or something? Whoa, there's like a crack in the sidewalk over here. How many other people are walking around weird like that? What are you? Welcome to Strangerville. Are these local? No, that's Cassandra Goth and that's Pancake Lady. Um, okay. Uh, alrighty. So, okay. Um, okay. I, okay, so we got some people here. We got Ted. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ted, what, dude, Ted, what's, what's wrong with you, Ted? Ted, my dude. Ted. Ted. What's wrong with Ted? What What's wrong with Ted? Y'all. What is this? Seriously, I'm like freaked out. You want me to come. You want me to open the door and, and let y'all welcome me to the to Strangerville and y'all looking like this? Y'all, oh my. Yo. 
Y'all, I'm not opening this door. <laughs> what the is this? What is this? Y'all, what is this? What is this? No, seriously. Somebody tell me, what is this? What is that? Why do they look like this? Who are these people? Leslie? Ezekiel? And Ted? Are you guys okay? Do you want me to come out? Try to talk to them? This wasn't supposed to be a gameplay video. Y'all, what is this? Dude, are you okay? Wait, what? The mother knows all? Do not resist her? Y'all, what is this? I don't want your fruitcake. Y'all just gonna call me rude. Y'all not coming in my house. Look at my... Look at my character right now. She's just like, what in the world am I supposed to be doing with these people? No! Look to the sky. It welcomes us all. Uh, lock door. For everybody but house... Well, I see the glitches are the same. Okay, so my plan was to not do a... What are you doing? Oh, 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 Yuki, I thought that was the girl from Get Famous. Why are y'all over here? Like, why would y'all even come? Like, seriously, I don't even understand. Wait, you can move a house? Wait, this is an actual residence? Somebody can actually live here? But why would you live here? What are you living here for? Y'all, what in the world is going on? Okay, y'all. Um, before I end this build by mode video, I am like totally just creeped out. Um, the only thing I didn't see is if we had a new walk in cast. Uh, but I do want to check out what these trailers look like. So let me go into um, manage worlds and let's go check a look at the trailers. I just want to see what they look like on the inside. Uh, I didn't see like a trailer option. But I feel like we should be able to live in one of these. So let's go see real quick. Okay, guys. So I'm in the lot right now. So apparently this lot here isn't actually one that you can live in. I don't understand why it's not an option. Um, I would love to have a, a trailer like this. But we have one that's been kind of made to look like a trailer over here. Um and so it, I, yeah okay so let's go take a look on the inside real quick it's very basic but the funny thing is is like now i kind of want to make a trailer um so maybe i'll do like a speed build and do that um this is kind of interesting so it, it doesn't give the feel of like a rv or like living in an actual trailer but um it, it's interesting i, I i'm almost going to say i would have rather one of these but where are these at? So you can live right here, but I bet you like nobody else is going to be living next to you. But that'd be cool if they had like Sims that actually lived next to you and then you lived right there. That'll be like your little trailer park area. I don't think that it works like that though. Um, and then apparently this is a residence too. So let's go check that out real quick. Okay, so this residence is already occupied. I saw like a Sim is already living here. Um, so, oh, that's what's going on over here. 
Okay, because I'm like, how is he living in this plane? I was going to drop all the wall. Okay, so there is like a little room thing here. So he goes in this way. So it's covered up. And then he goes in through this door. No aliens, please. And then he goes down and he lives underground. Interesting. Okay. And then underground, he has like all his little doomsday supplies. Um, he has like a planner. This reminds me of living in a like in a um, in a vault, like when we were doing the little vault stuff. Interesting. Okay. Alrighty. Um, okay. Interesting. All right. Well, I don't know what to think, guys. I am so weirded out right now. I don't even know what to say, what to think. Um, I have no clue. But this is Strangerville. Um, that's so funny that this is called Old Penelope. <laughs> My first car I actually called Penelope. It's the funniest thing. Anyway, long story. I don't want to talk about it. But <laughs> this is strange. Very strange. All right, guys. Well, I guess that does it for me with this build by mode overview. I don't know what to think with this pack. <gasps> is this like an old dilapidated hotel slash apartment? I mean, what is this over here? And it's all boarded up. Where are these boards? Do you know what sometimes kills me? And I've said this multiple times. You guys have heard me say this. Look at these little parking pillar thingies right here. Where is this stuff? When you show us this stuff in the game somewhere like here, give us the ability to actually have this stuff. Like, I want this. Look, the stairs and these little pillar thingies. Like, are you kidding me? I want that. I want this. And I also want this trailer park. And I also want these green colored covered um, army trucks right here. I want it all. I don't understand. What's this right here? The library? Okay. Y'all, wow. Wow. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and end this uh, video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. I'm sorry if it's like all over the place. I, I'm just, I'm, I'm shocked. I, I will say one thing. I am intrigued enough i i don't i said in the first video i don't know if i'd make like a lp with this but i am intrigued enough where i kind of want to see where this goes um to have sims just walking around like that like all crazy and then i i don't know like i really want to find out what happened um with this town and yeah like is there like what is what I don't understand like I want to see what's going on with this town I want to figure it out um is it alien is it what is it pet upset okay that's pet stuff um what is it though I I, I need to know I want to know uh so I think I am going to go in and do a little bit of gameplay or maybe I'll stream this. I don't know. I'm torn because I want to give you guys an opportunity to learn more about the world yourself. But now I want to learn more about it. So I'm just, I'm, I'm confused. I don't, I don't know what to do. I really don't. So I think what I'm going to do is definitely, well, these, they look normal right here. So I don't understand what the issue is. But I think I'm in this video. Uh, I wanted to go look at the crater really oh. quickly, but I feel like that should just be a whole nother episode, a whole nother video. Can we even go over here? The wait, what? The blank lab, secret lab. Can I travel to it though? And then you got all these houses up there on the plateau. I just kind of want to see what everything is, y'all. This is like so weird to me. But then my fear is too with a pack like this. And um, there's absolutely nothing wrong with this. Don't get me wrong. But my fear is like after we discover whatever happened, are we going to even mess with this pack anymore after that? You know what I'm saying? Like once we discover everything, then what? I mean, can I just get rid of all these lots and just make it like a regular town? Or will it still be like all this weird stuff happening over here? So this is like the secret lab. Uh, I don't know if you could work. This It's kind of empty. Actually what is 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 are people still working here it looks like everything has been abandoned 
Does it not? Okay, then you got this down here and it won't let us see. This is going to be like the pyramid, not the pyramid, but you know when you go to Jungle Adventures and you go exploring the tomb in order to get through certain parts, you have to unlock other parts and they're like on purpose not showing us certain things, but look how deep it goes. They're on purpose not showing us stuff. Look, I'm like dropping the walls. They're like on purpose not showing us stuff. Which makes me feel like there's some secret stuff going on up in here. And we have to explore it to find everything. Examine. I'm not going to do this right now. I'm not. So. Yeah, I'm going to go on and end this video here. What happened over here? What's going on, y'all? Like, seriously. So something. So did we sneak in? How did we get? So this is how we got in here. We snuck in through here. And then we made our way here. Wow. Okay. Um. Alrighty. Like I said, I'm going to end this episode, this video. Sorry. I am like so. Y'all, this is so weird. I don't know what to say. I'm so, I'm so, I'm so weirded out right now. I just don't know what to say. This is very interesting. Uh, all right. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I'm going to leave this video alone. I'm going to go on and let you guys have the rest of your day. Um, I, I, I'm thinking about doing a speed build next. So stay tuned for that. Um, and then I'll see if I get some gameplay video done. I don't know. I'm torn about it. So yeah okay guys let me know if you see that in the comment box down below let me know if you're getting this pack uh like i said the only thing that I, the, I don't know what to say i'm so i'm so weirded out right now hopefully you guys enjoyed if you haven't already don't forget to thumbs up the video subscribe if you new and i'll see you guys next time bye